What's cooking, you Vitas fans? Welcome back to your old lady's favorite YouTube channel. I have only one thing that I can say. It's been 24 hours since I've even done a video here on this channel. And the only thing I can say is, Gentoli, baby, what is you doing? Some of the rumors out here when it comes to the Mercado are perplexing. Uh, we'll talk about that as well as some of the sad, sad news. Stick with us. We'll fill you in. Ciao ragazzi, welcome back to the Beyond Good Area Zone. My name is Justin Sofro. Today, it is Wednesday, July 12th, 2023. Of course, I got your latest rundown of all things you've been. It's all the news you care about each and every single day. Before we do anything though, do me a solid favor, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell icon to stay notified for all of our latest videos. And without any further ado, let's just get into it and let's get into this thing. The very first news story we have for you today involves our very own one who's been in the news a lot lately, Paul Pogba, and we go into some of the news and updates when it comes to him. Tudo Sports reporting that sources close to Pogba have confirmed that Pogba does not want to leave Juventus this summer. So I guess he actually is going to be a Juventini for another season. We'll keep an eye on this. Anything could change, obviously. Uh, but some of the latest details when it came to this Kind of surprising and kind of interesting when it comes to Paul Pogba and maybe him really wanting to be at Juventus. La Stampa is reporting that uh, Paul Pogba has turned down two different lucrative off offers from Saudi Arabia. Um, <laughs> lucrative, not lucrative. <laughs> Al, Al Itahad's 100 million offer and Al Ali offer of 150 million euros were both turned down by the French midfielder in order to stay with Juventus. I don't know the reasons behind it. Is it just because his heart is in Juventus that he wants to have success at Juventus, especially given the one year that he played at Juve with that, in his new contract? He didn't play. He wasn't there. He barely, he barely played at all. We got a couple minutes on the pitch, and then we had nothing with Paul Pogba. Maybe it's time for him to actually play for Juventus and actually try to bring something on the pitch for the club. We know we need it. Um, the people that wanted, and then go, this goes back to me and my comments asking about Gentoli, what are you doing? Two big time, or not big time targets, but two. Well, one big time target and one target that should have been an easy grab for Juventus. Juventus have failed to get that with Padisi. Obviously, I don't understand 12 million euros and you can't get that bleep done. I know they're not asking 12 million for you for uh, for Juventus, but you can't go somewhere in the ballpark to get that deal done. I it's perplexing to me. And that's fine. I'm sure they'll come back to the table with Fiorentina a few years from now and overpay for him. And then when it comes to Milinkovic Savage, I mean, it's just a sign of the times to me personally. Once again, we have, and this may be just where the sport and where sport is going. If you had the money, it's not, somebody got mad at me because I said oil money, but bro, that's where the money's from. It's oil. If I had oil money, there's people out in Texas that have oil money. It's not anything. Uh, it's not, it's not an attack on anybody or a specific group of people. You got oil money. You got oil money. It's nothing about that. Some people are way too sensitive, but what I'm saying is I wish I had me some oil money. And if I did, I would probably send it toward you vendors and to try to get the players that I want to get. Um, but it also is worrying for me. It's a sign of the times. It's a sign of the changes that they are coming. And when it comes to Juve, when it comes to all the other teams that are in Europe, how will they fall in line when all the big time talent and all the big time players start going to play in Saudi Arabia? I, I hope this is not something that persists or, you know, it's not, I don't want to say this because I don't want to completely close the market for other teams to be able to have success. It's a little bit annoying, obviously, when they're able to just buy success like this. But I guess it's kind of what the rest of us have been doing for years. Um, but at the same time, if everybody starts going and they all start going to play in Saudi Arabia, it's not going to leave much of a market when it comes to the history the tradition of football and everything that goes along with that. Um, it's just maybe, maybe, you know, I don't know. Maybe they're creating new traditions, but it's a sad state of affairs. If you ask me personally, I'm sorry. That was a soapbox that I didn't need to get on, but I kind of, kind of wanted to, uh, anyway, let's continue on. Let's talk about the guy that I kind of highlighted right now saying about the players that he lost. Well, that engine totally, uh, Maurizio Pistocci is reporting when it comes to the relationship, of Max Allegri and Gentoli, well, Juve had decided to change coast and Gentoli completely agreed. That's one of the reasons that he was ready to get going and get moving when it comes to the club. Go after a new guy. We had rumors out there. Igor Tudor, um, all the other guys, you know, that long list of, of you know, I know Zidane and stuff like that. That wasn't going to happen, but the names that were out there. Um, but now a reluctant relationship has formed between them. 
with Max Allegri after a plea bargain to remove Juve from the Conference League. With only the Scudetto, there are no excuses for Max. So I'm hoping that Gentoli is putting the pressure on Max Allegri and that he's feeling it right now. Obviously, he's had a lot of guaranteed money. Obviously, uh, when he came into the situation, uh, even people like me wrongly were clamoring for him because I thought something would be better. I was wrong. Um, I hope he feels the pressure. I hope he feels and, and, and it is fired up to actually compete and do something this season, actually win the Scudetto. Juve need to win the Scudetto this season. If not, Max Allegri's got to go. And, I mean, I, I keep saying big changes need to be made. Big changes have been needing to be made for years now. The problem is, is every time you think that they're going to go into a Mercado and they're going to make changes that are going to better the situation, it gets worse. We are in a worse place than we were last Mercado, and we continue to find ourselves in worse situations. It's something that's very frustrating. Obviously, now you don't have the leadership of guys like Agnelli, uh, and that's and that's one of the reasons to worry as well. I don't know. I don't know if this new regime is going to be able to lead us to the promised land. Or when I say promised land, I just mean relevance. I mean winning and competing for the Scudetto. That's what I mean. Um, especially with a lot of the names that are out there rumored to be moving on. Uh, one of the names that could be moving on, uh, latest reports seem to be a groundswell of movement when it comes to the club and the way they are treating this player is that of Leonardo Benucci. Romeo Gresti is reporting that Juventus have told Benucci in the past few days he is no longer considered a starter. Now he will obviously take a decision on his future. And this is obviously one of the things that like I think there's been a lot of we were at the cross uh, at the at the crossroads of it as well, uh, pointing out that when it came to um, the individual of Benucci, that it's just like he's you're not a starter anymore. It's just no, he's not considered a starter, which means you are not the you're not a key focal piece of the uh, of the starting eleven every game. You're just not, and you're not a captain. You're none of that. You you can start, but that doesn't mean. You will start. Um, will he look elsewhere? Will there be other places that he will go? We will see. Uh, that'll be on the list of things to do. Following that up, John Luca DiMarzio is reporting that Benucci is not part of the club's fan plans and the coach no longer considers him an important uh, player in the squad. Obviously, we knew this. Uh, so the club will try to conclude an early a relationship that should instead end in June 2024. I've given my comments and my opinions on this uh, a while now. Uh, personally, I understand there's issues you have with Benucci, uh, and I, I have some of those as well. Uh, but at the same time, he has been an historic player for Juventus and for uh, the club, though maybe riding on the coattails of everybody else. Uh, I just see you could at least give him one final farewell and then just move on with our lives uh, instead of just trying to push him out early. I don't know. I get why you're okay with moving him out early. I just, there's a little bit of sentiment there um, that gives me that feeling. Let's continue on. Let's talk about two players uh, that could also be on the outs when it comes to Juventus. John Luca DiMarzio is reporting that Renocchia and Medetti are being followed closely by the club of Salernitana. The Bianconeri have given the green light for Renocchia. They now await the Salerno club. But when it comes to Medetti, Juve won't decide until August 1st on his future. They're going to try to give him a little bit more time. Uh, maybe we'll see what Max Lagerine guys there uh, can decide if they want to try to keep him for another season, especially with you're not bringing any other players in right now. The Mercado is an absolute wasteland when it comes to Juventus. Uh, why are you trying to push out all your uh, potential players? Well, I mean, I get why, because the way that he was utilized and the way that he had performed under Max Allegri, uh, while I feel like he could have been better suited under a new and different coach. Coach, um, but something to keep an eye on if you are a Fabio Medetti guy and you want to see him um, perform well in the future. We continue on, and just, I'm just going to throw this out here real quick. There are reports now that Juventus are serious about making a move for Samarzic or Samarzic. Sorry, I'm going to mess that up. Uh, Republica is reporting this, and basically, I, I just look at it and I'm just like, okay, it's fine. These names are going to come out there, uh, but a player Juventus couldn't pay 12 million euros to get a Parisi, a player that they were all but certain to have gotten uh, during this Mercado, a player that they have been linked with for a long time. And you're going to tell me they're going to spend probably more 20, whatever. Ever so on another player. I don't know. I don't believe it at this point. I, I have no faith uh, that they'll go after uh, larger targets in this Mercado. I really don't know how to live with this Mercado outside of if they sell a Vlavich, if they if Paul Polk would somehow they get a money um, a move because he moved or something like that. I don't know. I just I just don't I don't see it happening. That's where I feel with it. And that's where I am right now. 
Let's continue on and let's talk about the big money offer that they could be going after and they could be getting. And that is, of course, when it comes to PSG and any movements there, their latest uh, latest rumblings are that they had their eyes set on Dusan Vlaovic. Le Parisian is saying the PSG will soon knock on the door of Dusan Vlaovic, and they are not scared by the cost of the player's transfer. Juventus will start talks at 70 million euros for the Serbian. <sighs> It's oil money. There's oil money once again. But yeah, but it makes sense. Obviously, uh, they have the money. They have the means to go after him. Uh, yeah, Chelsea, the Wings. You have all these other teams that are going to be interested in a player like uh, Vlavic and probably can get a hell of a lot more out of him than Juventus was able to do in the last season. Um, I, I don't really have a lot to comment there. Uh, if he goes, he goes, and I understand it. I get it. I, I don't. I'm not. I'm not really going to cry. I'm not going to be upset. I'm not going to, you know, want to fight to go get him back. I, I just. I'm not there when it comes to Vlavic, especially given his output the last season i really wouldn't shed any tears though i would yes i'd like to keep him the preference would be keep Vlavic because he for all intents and purposes seems to be a very very good player a player that i thought was on the verge of greatness before he came to juventus and that he could do that at juventus it hasn't really uh, come to fruition yet move forward and one name and one name only the italian Adam Levine himself is coming back in the news when it comes to if he could come back to Italy and come to Juventus. Well, Gianluca Di Marzo is reporting that Juventus would consider a move for that of Gianluca Scamacca only if Dusan Vlaovic were to leave a club. So get ready, get hyped up for if Dusan Vlaovic leaves for all the, the people that were crying and screaming and yelling about, ah, you know, the tattoos and the complaints about him and then his personality or whatever they, the, whatever they wanted to come out of the work with the, uh, with. Yeah, it's, it'll be all back once again this summer. We can rehash all that out once again. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you like the idea of Skamaka coming into Juventus? Or, uh, you know, there's the Italian side, or do you, do you rather just not have him and get somebody else? Obviously, we have Milik. Uh, hopefully, you can uh, handle things in the meantime. That'll do it. For this edition of the news, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. If you haven't already, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell icon to stay notified for all of our latest videos. You can follow me at Justin Sofro on Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. And of course, you can follow Beyond Canary Zone at Beyond Canary Zone, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all that. I'll see you guys next time. Forza Juve, Forza Beyond Canary. Say hello to the old lady for me.